Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I have a small announcement to make before we get started. So, as you know, we're about to do the big awards ceremony, but we have a small technical problem. In this studio that we're working on, we have three backup electrical systems. During our rehearsals, two of them have broken. We're now on our last one. I'm not, this is not leading to a joke, by the way, in case you're wondering. This is the actual truth. And so there's a decision. Should we pre-record the whole thing and actually call the event off? Or should we go for it? I have to tell you the other thing that's happened is no air conditioning in here. I've literally got a wad of papers to try and keep myself looking from looking like I'm swimming during the course of this. But then we said, you know, it's not an event if we don't go for it. To be honest, it's my own fault. I asked Billy from DIY Swiss so if he come and do some of the electrics. I think that's what's going to be at the heart of it. Either way, we are literally down to our last electrical source. So if during the course of what's about to happen, you lose the feed for, say, more than a minute, we're done. And then what we'll do is we'll record the event here, we'll speak to the winners individually, and then we'll put that out to you as a recording, maybe in a week or two's time. But we all had a discussion and said, it could go wrong, but should we go for it? We think it's important enough to go for it, so I hope you'll bear with us. So let's get started properly. Ladies and gentlemen, as the Chief Executive of the UK's largest trade association in the construction sector, I'm extremely proud to welcome you to the FNB 2021 Master Builder Awards. Our awards showcase the very best of what the building industry has to offer. For 80 years, the Federation of Master Builders has been committed to promoting the very best in the building industry, and that commitment and ambition is as strong now as it was when the FNB was first set up in 1941. As an organisation, we recognise the importance of excellence and the need to drive up standards, whilst also supporting our members with an increasing range of services. The last 18 months has been a testing and challenging time, but I am proud that our industry has been able to continue working and that the FNB has been able to support master builders with up-to-date information and to give them a strong voice within governments of all four home nations of the UK. In particular, the FNB, working within the Construction Leadership Council, has been able to work with our industry partners and the UK government on such issues as the current material shortages, the growing skills crisis, the need to build more homes, and to lead the repair, maintenance and improvement sector. Of particular importance is our call for a national retrofit strategy to make our existing 29 million homes greener and more energy efficient. With the growing challenge to tackle climate change, the need for a national retrofit strategy is ever more pressing. The UK government won't deliver its zero carbon legal obligation without reducing the 20% carbon emissions from our existing homes. So let's hope there will be good news in the forthcoming spending review next month and again at the United Nations Climate Change Conference in Glasgow in November. Today, though, I want to thank all the judges for their time and having to make tough decisions, and also to our sponsors, and in particular, Isuzu, who have donated the main prize, a pickup truck. We simply couldn't do the awards without this help and support. So this year, even more than in previous years, I want to express my sincere thanks on behalf of the FNB, because your commitment and generosity of time have been needed and appreciated even more. Of course, the awards would not be possible without FNB members. Thank you to all members who nominated projects and good luck to all our finalists. Now I'll hand over to our host for this afternoon, Nick Knows. I'm sure you're all familiar with Nick, who hosted our last awards, but also is a well-known and very popular presenter of BBC One's DIY SOS and Channel 5's Big House Clear Out. Nick, welcome back, and it's great to have you in the studio.
Thank you, Brian. Good afternoon, everyone. It's great to be here hosting the 2021 National Master Builders Awards ceremony. As you heard, it's not my first time. I feel like we're going steady now. Wherever you are watching this, welcome. Our weekend has officially begun, so I hope you all have a drink in your hand and made your popcorn and are ready to enjoy yourselves. I'd like to give a special welcome to our front row audience members who are today's finalists. Hello, finalists. Give us a wave, everybody. Give us a, not much enthusiasm. Oh, there you go. There is a little bit of enthusiasm. Thanks very much. I was just thinking of some of the builders I've worked with. I say, give us a wave. They go, wave yourself. <laughs> now, we all know that it's been a bit of a year, hasn't it, to say the least. This pandemic has been truly, it's been awful in so many different ways. But for our country's builders, the ongoing stresses of not being able to find labour and paying through the nose for basic building supplies has been really, really hard. We all know you're trying to make a decent living, run great companies, delivering brilliant work and excellent service to your customers. But insane prices, rises for timber, steel, bricks, insulation, just about everything is making it really, really tough. And I know the FMB is working on your behalf to try and make things easier and fairer for small builders. And I want you to let, to let you know that I'm also on your side fighting your corner. I get to talk to people in Parliament at various stages. And look, let's be honest, it's the building industry. When, whenever this country falls on its backside, it's the building industry and construction industry that picks it up back up again. And you've all been working really hard, I know, through, through lockdown and make, finding ways to make it work. So. It's up to us again, I guess. Well, I say us, I'm including me in you as builders now. Given all of this, it's even more brilliant that F&B builders have shown true and typical resilience and delivered some amazing work for us to celebrate today. I'd like to encourage everyone to join in for this special occasion today by sharing images of your celebrations at home on social media. Please use the hashtag, hashtag MBA Awards when posting. I'd also like to mention, oh, by the way, keep them clean. I mean, it's a family show. Uh, I'd also like to mention and thank the many sponsors who have made today's awards possible and who are enabling master builders to receive the recognition they truly deserve. Thank you to our headline sponsor, Isuzu, and to our category sponsors, Build Aviator and Juicen, TradePoint, OpenReach, Promote UK, BNCE, Provider of the People's Pension, FMB Insurance, Derek Goff Associates, Trustmark, Risa, Green and Pleasant Events, and the Lighthouse Club that I'll talk about a bit more later. I would also like to take a moment to highlight the independent judges who spent many hours reviewing and discussing the finalists. We'd like to thank all of them for their valuable time and expertise. Now, you may have noticed that today we are also raising money for the Lighthouse Club, the construction industry charity. The Lighthouse Club provides free support for mental, physical, and financial well-being for those working in the construction sector. It's such a worthy cause. If you could spare any money towards the fundraising target, I know the team at the Lighthouse Club would be delighted. I'm going to wipe my brow because, as I said, we are currently in about 40, there's about 45 people in here. There's TV studio lights and the air conditioning is packed up because of the generator. But, you know, we'll press on. I might end up shirtless in the end, but perhaps I won't go that far. The details of the Just Giving page are now on the screen if you need to take them down. Now, we'll be talking a little bit more about the great work of Lighthouse Club later in the ceremony and giving a few of you who have kindly donated a little shout out. This afternoon, we'll be announcing the national winners of each category. We'll be breaking up the announcements with some very special guests, including your national president, Jan Etchells, uh, George Wallace from the Isuzu organization, and today's entertainment, Chris Turner, who will genuinely amaze us with his improvised rap skills. And of course, we'll finish today's ceremony with the announcement of the 2021 overall Master Builder of the Year Award winner, who will drive away with a new Isuzu D-Max V-Cross truck, courtesy of our headline sponsor, Isuzu. And that is a proper bit of kit, I can tell you. Now, I'll introduce the 12 awards categories, and you will see each finalist appear on your screens in front of you too. Once again, the quality of the finalists for the national awards was, well, truly outstanding. As such, in some categories, the judges agreed on giving out highly commended awards. This accolade is for members that narrowly missed out on winning, usually in very close fought categories. So, if this is you, you can take pride in being highly commended. If you're one of our lucky winners, actually lucky is the wrong word, isn't it? Deserved winners today will actually be hearing from you. So do enjoy your moment in the spotlight. And of course, we insist, you know, you, you got the email through, we insist that you finish with a song or a favourite poem of your choice. That's not actually true, you just need to give a little speech. 
It is the first time ever that we'll be speaking with the winners live as long as the technology holds up. And you've unmuted and you haven't turned off your camera. Uh, we'll find you in our front row audience and bring you onto the live screen after our independent judges tell us about why you were chosen as the winner. So if you haven't yet changed your Zoom screen name to your company name, please do this now so our brilliant tech team can find you. Final reminder, I know in all the excitement, this may have you know, maybe forgotten, but we are going out to a family viewing public, so try to keep it clean and easy on the expletives, no matter how excited you are. <laughs> now, just like the regional and devolved nation ceremonies, if you are one of our winners today, you will receive your trophy in the post next week. I've got to tell you, the post on the Asusa is going to be really expensive, but you know, it's all packaged up and ready to go. Now it's time to get on with the show and find out who the first tour, so the first four, fantastic, the first tour, the first four fantastic and talented winners are. And I'm very pleased to see this is all hanging on at the moment. Give us a wave again, just to make sure that you're actually we're all live and you're in there. Yes, you can see me good, lovely. Thank you very much. Right. So I'll be right back in a moment to tell you about our first category. In fact, let's just get on with the first category, shall we? Yes, let's do that. We were going to do something else, but it's on a different stage, and the lighting's gone off over there, so we're going to continue anyway. Our first category this afternoon is for small renovation projects sponsored by Trustmark. This award is for excellent residential domestic restorations, refurbishments, all extensions, including heritage projects valued at up to £50,000. This was a closely contested category. Let's see the finalists. All Build Developments Limited, Southwest. Cheshire Building and Joinery Limited, Northwest. XL Home Design Limited, Wales. Oakston Solutions Limited, Southern Counties. Philip McElhone Construction Limited, Northern Ireland. Radford Construction and Services Limited, Northern Counties. Swiss Build Limited, Eastern Counties. Zaluga Limited, London, end the list. So, to announce the first category award winner of the afternoon, I'm joined up here by Phil Mason from Trustmark. Welcome, Phil. Hello, Nick. It certainly is warm, isn't it? It is a little bit warm. <laughs> I, think, I think people might be thinking that I'm actually making this up, but we genuinely have a technical problem. I'm just really excited that they're all still with us and this is still working. <laughs> so let's get into it. The winner for the small renovation project, please. Thank you. I'm incredibly um, pleased to be able to announce that the winner for the category is Oakston Solutions Limited. Oh, look at them all celebrating, look at them waving, give us a wave, look. For me, if Carlsberg did garden offices, it would be this one. You know, it's a garden office with a difference, with so many comforts and, and so much thought built into that working environment. It looks like an amazing place to work and it's a great use of space. Well, it stood out head and shoulders above the others um, due to the high build quality, the mix of materials, the tricky site. It must have been a difficult job for the builders who overcame it very well. And because a home office, a garden pod, is so current and this one was executed to such a high standard. What really made it stand out was the fact that the, the builder had come up with a really lovely bespoke solution working really closely with a very engaged client. And, and the results speak for themselves. When you get a client who's motivated and a builder who's engaged, I think the results really can always be outstanding, both from a build quality perspective, but equally from a design point of view as well. There's always a bit of scope for the builder to fill in the design gaps. And I think this was a really good example of that. So a really fantastic project. Well done, Oaks and Solutions Limited. Look at the big smiles on your faces there. I've got to tell you, I'm, I'm very envious of two things. One, the beer that you've just surreptitiously put down to pretend that you're not drinking whilst you're doing this interview. <laughs> and the other is that you're sitting outdoors. I literally, I could do with that breeze in the background there. That, have you got the, that talk about bringing the outdoors in? Very impressive. <laughs> uh, what incredible home office. How does it feel to, uh, to be our first national winner? Yeah, buzzing. Yeah, really good. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, this stunning garden room, obviously built in the top corner of a sloped garden, which provides significant work 
to level out the ground before construction could begin. Did I read rightly that you, um, that in the submission, that you had to do all that by hand? Yeah, we had to dig out the whole, yeah, the whole base by hand, yeah, which was not, not good fun, but we got it done. Good. Is that because you were too tight to get a digger in, or was it because genuinely you couldn't get the digger in there? Genuinely you couldn't get up there. <laughs> I know the judges had a huge list of outstanding features for this project, including air conditioning, underfloor heating, cedar cladding, composite decking, different blender timbers, LED strip lights. I mean, there's, the list goes on and on. It's a, it's a lovely bit of work. Also showing off the guns there, mate, at the moment. Whilst you're, you're, yeah, that's all that, all that carrying stuff up the garden, isn't it? Obviously. <laughs> uh, look, but personally, what was your favourite part of the build? What did you like the most about it? Just, well, just customer being happy at the end of it basically he gets he goes in there every day to work and he's um he's actually a, a friend of mine so um, yeah you know, yeah just seeing the customer happy, happy, happy fantastic and listen one more one more question before i go mate is that is that a proper tan or is it a spray tan what you what you wearing these days <laughs> it's, it's actually yeah well i'm going to my people tomorrow so i will have a proper tan so <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we're richly deserved. Enjoy your holiday. Congratulations again on the win. Oakston Solutions Limited. Well done, guys. <laughs> there they go. Well, that, that proves two things. Uh, one, we're still hanging on in there, and it, the system's actually working, which is great, um, no matter how uh, sweaty I end up looking. <laughs> Next this afternoon, we have the award for Best Bathroom Project, which I will need for a shower during the course of this process. The category is sponsored by Risa Inspections and Auditing, and it's for an outstanding bathroom from a new build or renovation project. Let's have a look at the finest, shall we? Uh, Alford Construction, Southwest. Uh, that might be Alford, actually, is it Southwest? Uh, Bespoke Living Construction Limited in Southern Counties. David Smallcombe Limited, Midlands. XL Home Design Limited, Wales. Home Republic Limited, London. Ipsum UK Limited, Yorkshire and Trent. MCK Construction, Scotland. Marlfield Joinery and Construction Limited, Northern Ireland. Mod Plan Building and Refurbishment Contractors Limited, Eastern Counties. Radford Construction Services Limited, Northern Counties, makes up the end of the list. Now, to announce the winner, I would like to welcome on board here with me uh, Lee Gully from Risa. Lee, can you please reveal who our winner is? Oh, I certainly can, Nick. The winner of the bathroom category is Radford Construction Services Limited. This project was chosen as the winner because it overcame an array of different challenges. It was in an old property. There had to be lots of work done on things like the chimneys in order to create a space which, as an end product, has resulted in a stunning bathroom. There's been excellent use of innovative materials, mixed materials, beautiful roll-top bath, and it perfectly matches the brief that the builder was given. In summary, an outstanding high-quality entry. There are lots of standout features. The roll top bath is absolutely gorgeous and it's quite different really from any other freestanding tub I've seen before. And the wet room area is an amazing use of space in what was quite an awkwardly shaped area. Those are the two for me. Also amazing tiling, it's got underfloor heating, mood lighting. That's quite a few standout features actually. Hey, that was a very controlled reaction when you uh, we announced that you'd won it. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. <laughs> You're not much of a dancer. I'm a dancer. Oh, I can dance something. <laughs> what you absolutely obviously are is a fantastic master builder. That That's a beautiful looking bathroom. Lovely the way you use the natural stone and everything there. Yeah. Um, what does it mean to you, to your business, do you think, to win a national award like this? Oh, well, it's, it, you know, we're up against fantastic competition and, um, you know, difficult times. Um, everybody worked well. I'd like to thank the team and, you know, the, the obstacles building that, you know, getting the steels up there and getting the bath, even getting that bath up, you know what I mean? It, it's hard work, but, yeah, the customers are over the moon. We're happy. Um, yeah, I'll be celebrating tonight. You will. You got a favourite uh, dram. What do you like? Oh, Stella. I like Stella. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. 
Wow, I'm really? A I'm, I'm a builder. <laughs> <laughs> Now, this luxury bathroom was built as part of a larger commercial project to create a stunning wedding venue in Durham. Is it true that you had to carry all the building materials for the bathroom up three storeys? That's why you're yeah. talking about the bath. Yeah, 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 we did. Yeah. We took it all the outside because all the outside was fully scaffolded up and, you know, difficult site to get machines in the front to get it up. So, yeah, it was, it was a yeah, bit no, I get it. I know the judges couldn't pick one outstanding feature of this project. They highlighted the large roll-top bath you've been talking about a lot, mood lighting, comprehensive tiling work. For you, what was your favourite bit of that, that, that whole build? What did you like? Um, I think when, when you go up into the loft and you, you just see it's a big empty space and then you, you turn up at the end with that lovely tile, the, the twin showers, the roll-top bath, the TV, you know, the mood lighting. You know, you, you've got the view across the, the valley as well, and you can stand in the middle of the room, have a shower, look out the windows either side. I mean, it, everything in that room is just, just nice. Yeah, that's what we call on TV the reveal moment. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. 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 All right, congratulations again to Rapid Construction Services Limited. An excellent job. Well done. So, next up, we have the award for Best Kitchen Project sponsored by the Lighthouse Club. This award is for an outstanding kitchen from a new build or renovation project. So let's take a look at the finest, shall we? AJ Joinery and Building Limited Northwest. Bike Shots Limited Southern Counties. I realized earlier I was going too fast, so I'm going to slow down a little bit now. XL Homes Design Limited Wales. Oh, I might press on. Conform Construction Midlands Limited Midlands. Full Works. Facilities Management Limited, Eastern Counties, Hawksmoor Construction Limited, London, Kevin Wilson Joiners and Builders Contractors, Scotland, Marlfield Joinery and Construction Limited, Northern Ireland, their name's come up again, hasn't it? PAP Building Services Limited, South West. So, for the Kitchen Award, I would like to invite, well, he's already arrived, to be honest, Brian Berry from the FMB to announce the winner on behalf of the Lighthouse Club. Welcome back, Brian. Thanks, Nick. And I can announce that the winner of the kitchen project is Bagshots Limited. Bagshots, there you go, look at them all go. Some fist pumping going on in there. This project is the outstanding one for us because we do really recognise the relationship between the builder and the client. I think that's kind of where things really happen in terms of kitchen design, where you've got an engaged client and a builder willing to push them the extra mile. So we saw that in terms of the design, we saw that in terms of the personalised approach in terms of the design. And obviously the end result of that is not only a fantastic kitchen, but a delighted client. Construction, our homes are so personal to us. So to see that manifested through a project and to see a client so clearly delighted just made this project jump out. The relationship with the client is so, so important for a builder because it can turn what can be sort of a dreaded nightmare of getting their kitchen done to actually a lovely creative process where everyone is delighted with the finished product. And that's really what's happened in this case. So the client is delighted, the builder should also be delighted. Congratulations to Bagshaws Limited. That was the kind of reaction that we wanted yeah. there. Fist Thank pumping, you. jumping up and down. You're obviously plainly excited to win. Very. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so how does winning an award like this impact your business, do you think? I think it'll be major for us. We, we built a house on the Isle of Wight four years ago and we've moved the whole company to the Isle of Wight. And we've now become the premier company for kitchens on the Isle of Wight. So this will have a major impact. Yeah, and it's like, uh, it's actually, uh, I, I like the Isle of Wight, and it's much bigger than people think. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> got some lovely beaches there, actually. Now, I know the client requested a maritime theme to match the location of their home. So how did you weave this into the overall design? Well, she, she was the skipper of a, of a, a, a vintage yacht that, that used to sail around the world. Um, so when she said that to me, first, first of all, I said, well, I'm not going to argue with you if you can manage a 10-man crew. Um, and uh, she wanted something maritime. So I introduced a scarf beam onto the, the kitchen, which, is, which you'll find in the old yachts. And we lime waxed it to make it the gold. 
well, we made it a solid oak. Mm -hmm. And uh, the only disappointing thing is when, when customers uh, go in to see her kitchen, uh, and, and we've sent a few round, and her friends go in to see the kitchen, they go, oh my God, what a lovely beam. <laughs> That's <laughs> really, like, yeah, yeah uh, you know, uh, but you know, a good, uh, everybody likes a good beam. Uh, I hear you also use the virtual reality goggles with your client during the design phase, which is actually, uh, you know, very modern innovation. Um, yeah, this particular client actually walked into the wall with the, with the goggles on, not realizing, in fact, that, that you can stand still and look around. Yeah. Yeah, but you, but you find that clients find that like they're more involved and feel more interactive with the design when they can use the goggles to look around your design. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's an amazing opportunity for them to change colours and, to, and to, to see the, the kitchen as exactly as it'll look. We take pictures outside the, their house as well, so when they look round, the, the visuals have their garden outside the window as well, so it is, it's the, they feel they're in the actual finished room. It's interesting because obviously a lot of master builders watching in here, and, like, so, and there's obviously an investment involved with doing something like that. So you'd say it was worth the investment to get that kit? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. All right, smashing. Okay, well, listen, well done to you, Backshots Limited. Last cheer from you, if you don't mind. Congratulations. Make the most of it. There they go. Right, now then, we've got to move on. The final award in this section of the ceremony is the Tradesperson of the Year Award, sponsored by Tradepoint. Now, this award is presented to an individual who works for a master builder company and has demonstrated outstanding commitment to their trade, contributed to high quality projects, and more than that, delivered exceptional customer service. This category really epitomizes what the awards are all about. In fact, it epitomizes what the great tradesmen and master builders around this country are all about, that, you know, it's role models inspiring others to get into construction. So let's take a look at some of these exceptional finalists for Tradesperson of the Year. John Young, A&E Construction, Warwickshire Limited, Midlands. Mantas Gagaudas. Contemporary Construction Limited, London. Jeff Lomax, Dale Contractors Limited, Northwest. Ross Taylor, Fine Detail All Trades Limited, Scotland. Luke Harmon, LP Harmon Building Services Limited, Southern Counties. Paul Collins, Marlfield Joinery and Construction Limited, Northern Ireland. Andrew Radford, Radford Construction Services Limited, Northern Counties. Simon Meadows, Sheffield Garage, Sheffield Garage Conversions Limited, Yorkshire and Trent. Rod McCauley, Thorn Homes Limited, Southwest. And Lee Taylor from Tradepoint is here to announce the winner. Welcome, Lee. Uh, the judges had a, a robust debate over this, didn't they? And in actual fact, they decided that they agreed there should be one person who deserved a highly commended award. So could we have a go at that one first? Consider the high, highly commended. Delighted to announce the highly commended trade person of the year is Andrew Radford, Radford Construction Services Limited. Well done, Andrew. Andrew considers himself a craftsman rather than a tradesman, taking great pride in the high standards of work he can always be depended upon to deliver. He's known for always making himself available to others to give advice. I mean, I'm known, but not in a constructive way. His is obviously in a construction way. Uh, colleagues and clients have also expressed appreciation for the way he and his wife, Michelle, hello, Michelle, have uh, reached out to those who have struggled through the recent pandemic. He impressed the judges who highlighted that Andrew has demonstrated all the attributes in this category. An excellent manager who takes care of his employees but can also run building sites with minimal disruption to the client. He's an active member also of his community, raising money for charity and helping others. You sound like a proper, decent human being and a great tradesman, so well done, Andrew. Now back to you, Lee, because we have to come to the winner and uh, announce who the winner is. It's my privilege to announce the winner, Trade Person of the Year, Luke Harmon, LP Harmon Building Services Limited. chosen as a winner he was a standout candidate we need more loops in the world the way he just turned what could have been quite a, a traumatic time for the family for this build into what sounds like a really lovely experience the way he engaged with their daughter the way that he managed to get donations it just from beginning to end he just really did that extra mile the reason I chose this person as the winner had been that 
it was the exceptional level of service that had been provided to the consumer. What we have in this day and age is the need for businesses to provide role models for other organisations to develop from and this was very much a level of engagement and a level of service delivery that shone through as a glowing beacon. Luke clearly built a fantastic relationship with the client and his daughter, so I think he should be particularly proud not only of the quality of the work that he produced, but the bond and the relationship that he formed during the project. Um, that's interesting. <laughs> Hello. Uh, no, Hello. you haven't put your yeah. microphone on. Yeah. We can't hear you. Oh. Can we hear you? Say again. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay. Hello. Sorry about that. Hello, Luke. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I've accepted it on behalf of Luke. Um, he is currently still at work. He's still at um, But he will be absolutely over the moon. So why, will this be really exciting for him? You know, will, will this mean a lot to him? It mean, absolutely, it means the world to him, honestly. The job meant, um, sorry, the job meant a lot to him. Um, and we worked really closely with the client. Sorry. <laughs> That's all right, no, look. Hang on, this has been the, don't worry, this has been the story of lockdown. Bring them in so that we can see them and we can say hello. Is that all right? You want to come and say hello? We're going to set up half a It's a house full. You have a look on the phone. Um, um, yeah, so right, yeah. Right. You'll be pleased, hang on, I'm going to, I've actually got, I've just been told now, this is, we're, we're literally putting this together as we go. Um, Luke, are you there? <laughs> Hello, Nick, how are you? Yeah, very good, thank you very much. Uh, but first, as I'm talking to your better half, uh, what, yeah. do you th what do you think it is about Luke that um, he seems to go the extra mile? That, like, you know, he's, he said, the, the client had said he's an absolute credit to the trade. Um, thank you. So, what's he like as a human being? I mean, this, uh, it's always a dangerous thing to ask a builder's wife. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get a better guy than Luke, honestly. She's online. Hang on a second. It's her turn. It's her turn to talk first, Luke. Hang on. <laughs> no, honestly, he, he works, um, you know, continuously, effortlessly, hard for all of his clients. He puts them first. Um, and Daddy, Daddy. a lot to him and he, you know, um, we're just, yeah, we're over the moon for him. He really does deserve it. Okay, Luke, your little one's asking for you, so you can, you can say something for, you can say something. Oh, no, we're still working, I couldn't get away. Well, that's the sign of a good builder, actually, to be honest. And, <laughs> and I think this has been the story of lockdown, Zoom calls with the family coming in or the pets or whatever it happens to be. So do you, do you want to say something to your little ones about, you'll see them later, because they can hear you, but they can't see you. Well, I'll be home soon. <laughs> I'll be home soon, as soon as I can. Listen, what, is, what can I ask you? Look, what does it mean for someone like you to win an award like this? Especially given, I mean, you've seen some of the people you're up against here, the other, the other people in the category, were like the, some of the work they do is spectacular as well. Well it, means, well, it means everything, Nick, to be honest with you, because we train so hard and we've been doing it so long that, yeah, it means everything, really. Just to have, you, you, can't, you can't ask for a better award, really. Well, that's brilliant, mate. And we're actually look, we're looking at the family that I know you're working so hard to, to give the best possible life to, and that's basically the motivation for most people, isn't it? Looking after the people you love. So, listen, not yeah, congr congratulations, Luke. Really well deserved. Thank you very much. Love to see the family. See everybody. See you. Um, Daddy will be home a bit later, all right? Take, take care. Bye bye. Thank you. <laughs> I just pass this out. Shot here for a second. <laughs> So, well, I, do you know what? This awards is actually kind of fun, isn't it? It's like working in a very different way. I've had to say, look, I don't know if you can see, look. I'm literally, I'm, that's how bad it is in here. But, you know, I don't care. Let's, 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 all the time we're hanging on here and it's still working. Let's keep going. Uh, what a great selection of winners, didn't you think? And actually, highly commended too. Fantastic. So, look, it, like, the, the quality that we're looking at here, uh, it, not of the presenter, plainly, but of the, of the work that's been done is really gobsmacking. So our last, uh, our last winner, Luke, has kindly donated, by the way, to the Lighthouse Club, along with Master Builders, Lorna Carter and Tom Creed. So thank you all, and please do keep the donations coming in. Now, as promised, I am uh, now going to share some more information about the great work that the Lighthouse Club are doing to support the construction sector. So here is a short video from Bill Hill, CEO of the Lighthouse Club.
Everyone in construction knows that the risks and rewards within our industry are great, but at times, the stresses and strains of the workload are just overwhelming. Recently, our helpline took a call from a distraught mother of three young children. Her husband, who'd been working in the trade for 20 years, came home and went upstairs. He never came back down. He leaves behind a loving wife, three kids under five, and a grieving family. We'll never know the reason he took his own life, but mounting debt would almost certainly have contributed. Our charity supports families with emergency financial assistance for food and utilities, helping clear their rent arrears to prevent homelessness and giving access to professional emotional support. The Lighthouse Club charity run a 24-7 construction industry helpline and app, which provide access to emergency financial aid, mental health and wellbeing support, debt management and legal advice. Our mission is that no worker or their family feels alone in a crisis. Unfortunately, cases like this are not uncommon and the Lighthouse Club needs your support. We need your help today to continue to support our construction workers in crisis. You can help in two ways. First of all, you can help by promoting our free services to your workforce. If the workforce don't know we are there for them, we simply can't help them. Help Inside the Hard Hat is our new national campaign to raise awareness of our services. Simply head to our website to access print ready posters or order helpline cards. Please help us spread the word. Secondly, it is vitally important that we keep all our services free. There should be no barrier for any worker that needs our help. Our charity receives no public funding. All our services are funded entirely by donations from the industry for the industry. You can support us by giving a regular annual donation, organising a Lighthouse Fundraising Day, or simply making a one-off donation. Please support us in whatever way you can to help us make our industry a better place to work for this generation and the next. Thank you. Thank you, Bill, for that, providing that very powerful video. And to be honest, there's too much of that about, isn't there? And the building industry can sometimes be a very, very lonely business, um, and it can feel like you're on a hamster wheel sometimes, and a lot of people working on their own. Um, I, I've done a lot of mental health um, work over the last few years, and I just want to say this. If you're one of those people who's feeling like uh, that nobody can help you, that's not true. If you're one of those people who thinks that the world would be a better place without you, that's not true. No matter how bad it is, it's not true, and nobody cares, and that's not true either. There are people, and actually Lighthouse is one of those people. And if you want to make a one-off donation, you can do this using the details for the Just Giving page here on the screen. And if you want to become a long-term partner of the charity, the FNB Awards team will be sharing more information after the event on how to pledge your support. It's, it's amazing how quickly you can go through ev from everything being okay in your life to everything being anything but okay but it is never too late and there's nothing that isn't resolvable. Trust me, I know, I've talked to people that have been right up to the edge and um, there's always something can be done. Now, in the past year, the Lighthouse Club has helped 2,264 families in crisis through their helpline. For every one pound charitable spend, the charity creates seven pounds 48 in social value. And I've got to tell you, having been involved with lots of charities, that's an amazing ratio, making real use of the money. Um, I'm on stage here now with the FNB National President, Jan Etchells, who is going uh, to tell us a little bit more about why the FNB has been chosen, uh, why the FNB has chosen the Lighthouse Club as its charity partner. Welcome, Jan, and I hope you're enjoying the ceremony so far. Yep, 
kind of amazing, isn't it? But what a powerful video as well. So yeah. why was it the choice then? The choice was because the films just explained it. The charity gives to our own construction workers when they're um, in need, mentally, physically, they give financial help and they're an amazing charity at the best of times and I just thought it was a very worthy cause for us to um, support over my presidency. You know, absolutely, the builders at the heart of what, what you do and what we do, uh, it absolutely seems to fit. So uh, how can the Lighthouse Club help? Well, as just explained, all the details are on the FMB website, but they've got um, a 24-7 construction helpline um, and uh, all the details can be found. Any help, financially, you know, emotional, mental, anything, they can help and it's absolutely just between, it's totally confidential, it's a really worthwhile charity to support. Yeah, no, I've been involved in a thing called Band of Builders, Bob's, I mean, people know about them now, they're all over the country. Mm -hmm. Started, I mentored that from when it actually first started, the first guy who started it, and there, there, is, oh, there is very definitely a need, and Lighthouse are doing great work. How can the audience and fellow members support the great work that Lighthouse Club is doing? Um, you can collect, <coughs> uh, connect on the link on the F&B website, and don't know any amount you can see what the the comeback was you just said you know it's a great it's a great return so any amount no matter how small if you could just donate just to help your fellow construction workers and builders yeah well, we say on uh, when we do the DIYSOS, the thing that we don't value is normal we go oh you know life's a bit boring most of the families that we end up helping out were living perfectly normal lives until something happens and then all of a sudden they give their right arm for boring and normal um, and so, you know, if you're in a good place and you think you can help other people, do so. But as I said before, if you're in a bad place or you know someone in a bad place, make a call. Uh, Lighthouse is there to help. So thank you, Jan, for joining me uh, on stage Welcome. here today and shine a spotlight on such a worthy cause. Thank you, everyone at home, for your attention too. Right, let's give out some more awards, shall we? Front row audience members, are you ready for us to announce some more winners? Give us a wave if you are. Very good. Good waving back. Well done. There's a couple there that I think look like they're drunk already, so it's, uh, maybe they won't. But um, anyway, I will be back in a moment after we have seen some social media posts. Actually, do you know what? Actually, we've actually closed down our social media posts because that was one of the things we had to switch off to try and make this happen. But we have got pictures of you guys at home. Have we got? Maybe we haven't got those. No, we haven't got those either. Another thing we switched off, but that's okay because we're all here. <laughs> it's like, honestly, this is, this is hilarious because literally we're pedaling really fast below the surface, but we will get through and the electricity is hanging on. I'm tentative later there, aren't I? Anyway, next up is the medium renovation project sponsored by Derek Goff Associates. This category is for residential or domestic restorations, refurbishments, or extensions, including heritage projects valued at over £50,000, but under £150,000. Let's have a look at the finalists. They are Abbey and Linden Midlands. Our Ski Contracts Limited, Northern Ireland. Coldwell's Building Company Limited, Scotland. XL Home Design Limited, Wales. Hawksmoor Construction Limited, London. Latham, Latham. Joinery and Construction Northwest. I've gone for Latham because it was from the north, as opposed to Latham, which would be very poor south. MJ Parrott & Son Limited, Eastern Counties. McKnight & Son Builders, Northern Counties. McMurray & Martin Limited, Southwest. RMR Homes Limited, Southern Counties. And YorkBuilder.com Limited, Yorkshire and Trent. To announce the medium renovation project winner is Philippa Goff from Derek Goff Associates. How come you're looking so calm and cool and collected and I'm looking like I'm melting? <laughs> hey Nick, I'm a woman of a certain age, so temperature <laughs> control is a thing of the past for me. <laughs> I've no idea. <laughs> well, you're looking a lot better than me, I've got to tell you. Is that slowly, they're, they're all slightly worried because I've gone down to my shirt and I'm going to be down to like, you know, nipple tassels next. But anyway, uh, the winner for the medium. Oh, so yeah, let's do the, should we do the winner? Shall we do the winner? Let's do the winner. Let's do the winner. Enormous luck, everyone. Here's the winner of the medium renovation project. And it is Coldwell's Building Company.
this project had the edge because of the good use of the glass and timber, which was so sympathetically put together, the old and the new coming together, really sympathetic to the environment in which it was delivered. For me, it was absolutely top class. It wasn't just their craft skills that impressed me. What also impressed me was the level of communication and collaboration with the client. They'd worked very, very hard to keep the project to budget. And often when you are restoring and remodeling an older property, you can find things along the way which can increase costs, but they managed to keep the cost down whilst producing a really impressive finish. It's a beautiful looking place. Taking an old building and adding to it is always a challenge and the combination of a really well considered set of details and workmanship inside and out makes it absolutely a winner in my view. Congratulations to Coldwell's Building Company Limited. There was lots of hugging and kissing going on whilst that film was on. I could see out the corner of my eye. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've got the champagne. Oh, yeah, we've got the champagne, yeah. <laughs> did, I, did, I see you, did I see you wipe away a tear? You went like this at one stage. Did you wipe it away a tear? Just an eyelash. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, how's it feel to be the national winner? Uh, over the moon. Uh, it's one of our first awards we've ever won, so uh, really, really, really happy about really it. Happy. I'm not surprised. It's quite a title, isn't it? Now, you've managed to seamlessly blend the two buildings to create a bright and open contemporary home with a new timber and glass extension. Um, what was your personal standout feature for the project, do you think? I think the, uh, the black padding went really well against the traditional granite and some of the large structural openings we formed to uh, install those large windows. Uh, they were some of the main features. Yeah, a really good job. I thought it actually looked really, really beautiful. And you're quite right. I thought the black cladding against the stone really, really worked. Because there's, there's quite a dark edge to that stone anyway, isn't there? Which sort of made it, it yeah, tie together yeah, nicely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, did I read rightly in the submission that uh, your team salvaged many of the materials from the original building and actually repurposed them? What did you manage yes, to salvage? Yeah, yeah there was... Um, so where the black cladding is now, uh, there was a sort of... 70s extension in between there and the walls were clad with slate so a lot of those slates were reused on the roof uh, to re-slate the, the existing roofs um, the granite from the structural openings were formed uh, used to build up two gable ends which were originally hip end roofs on the buyer section of the build um, so yes slate granite and uh, a lot of the, the, the timber was reused as well, and some of the, some of the roof members. Brilliant. I mean, that's like, you know, it's all about, um, you know, upcycling and reusing, isn't it? And uh, to come up with a building that looks that, that beautiful, you should be really, really proud of yourselves. Um, I was just going to say quickly, like, people watching and you watching might see might me, me being all swivel-eyed. It's because I can see you on that screen, but I feel I ought to be looking at you, which is on this screen over here. So I, I end up just looking... I think you deserve a reward for uh, doing the 40 degree heat <laughs> <laughs> well, I just need an enormous fan in front of me at the moment. But, I, but to be honest, I don't care because we're hanging on in and we're managing to get through the awards. And speaking of people like you, which is making my day, I'm chuffed to bits for you. Congratulations to the team at Coldwell's Building Company Limited Thank for an impressive medium renovation project. Cheers. Right, so moving on, the next category is the Sustainability Award sponsored by Juicent and Build Aviator. Now, this award is for green building projects that demonstrate commitment to reducing environmental impacts using a variety of methods. Let's have a look at the finest, shall we? Carrack Homes Limited, Northern Counties. Chris Noakes Construction, Southwest. DG Building, East Cambridgeshire Limited, Eastern Counties. Earl and Callum Design and Build Limited, London. MG Developments, Northern Ireland Limited, Northern Ireland. Mitchell's Construction and Development Limited, Southern Counties, Spay Building and Joinery Limited, Scotland. That makes up the list. And to announce the Sustainability Award is Chris Pearman from Build Aviator. Welcome, Chris. Thank you, Nick. Quite a show so far, isn't it? It is, especially doing it in a sauna. Yeah, it's, 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 it adds something to it, I what, think. Do you know what? Someone get me a big dressing gown and a towel I can wrap around my head, and that's how we'll do it from here on in. Uh, anyway, uh, listen, the judges actually agreed on a highly commended award in this category. Chris, please announce the highly commended award winner first. With great pleasure, Nick. The highly commended for the Sustainability Award is Mitchell's Construction and Development Limited. So, congratulations. 
Mitchell's Construction and Development Limited. The national judges agreed that this was a well-executed project where the builder, architect and client shared the vision for building a truly sustainable house. Located on a nature reserve, the home was carefully designed to blend in with and complement the surrounding area. Now, the judges noted that the environment seemed to have been at the heart of this project, from inviting locals to recycle the old building by helping themselves at the demolition stage. Uh, that's nicking stuff, isn't it? If I any, no, anyway. That, uh, to installing an air source, heat pump, heat recovery, solar panels, rainwater harvesting, and even, get this, a bat roost. A bat roost. The judges were also very impressed with a highly prized A rating for EPC. Now, Chris, I'm going to hand back to you because we need to announce the winner. We do indeed, Nick. It's our privilege to announce the winner of the Sustainability Award, Carrick Homes Limited. Clearly we were taken with the aesthetics of the building, but, but this was a sustainability award. So we were looking at the reuse of materials, which I think was extremely impressive, and the use of renewable energy and insulation. So generally, I think it just scored really highly as an ultra sustainable building based on a really old and not terribly energy efficient farm. It's a very thoroughgoing restoration, so inherently sustainable to bring that into reuse, that structure. And they've integrated very elegantly things like mechanical vent heat recovery ventilation and the air source heat pump. So we were just very impressed that it was done in such an integrated and stylish way. Choosing the winner wasn't easy. Every one of the entries was of a very high standard but we were able to agree quite quickly on the winner because this Cumbrian restoration retrofit just stood out for us. Congratulations to Carrick Holmes Limited, how are you? Yes, well done, Dick. thank you. I'm delighted with that. Brilliant. For a little while there, I was looking at the screen, all I could see was a set of curtains, and all of a sudden, when I announced the winner, you rose up. <laughs> like a creature from the Black Lagoon, you were suddenly there. You've got a house full. Yeah. Oh, there is a house full. Tilt the screen down a bit so that we can see the other people if you've got a house full. Tilt the screen down a bit. There you go. <laughs> So listen, for somebody like you, I mean, like, I've got to tell you, beautiful looking job. Just look at the film there, absolutely stunning job you pulled off there. Real sort yeah. of empathy for, you know, adding the new to the old and really treasuring what's already there that's got some age to it and got some character to it. So what does it mean for someone like you and your business to win an award like this? It, it means everything. It means everything to the lads and the skilled craftsmen that we employ. Um, and it will do us the power of good. It's our strength. It's what my passion is. They're all buildings and doing them up. I don't do brick boxes. So um, to get that award is, uh, is everything to us. Thank you for Well, it just goes, I mean, you're obviously a man who goes the extra mile. I mean, you can tell from the quality of the build that you've done there. And the, I mean, genuinely beautiful love of the old beams and the various other things that you'd actually managed to hold on to. Uh, I know you encountered some challenges along the way there. What impact did the additional spot listing have? Because spot listing is something that they used to do a long time ago. I mean, well, it's still done now, but it takes like longer than like, six months. But the old thing was just to go, but did that make it more difficult having the spot listing on it? Absolutely. We, we started the project with full planning permission and had no inkling about the listing. We had 26 people on quite a large site. And then as soon as the listing came through on a Friday night, it said, you have been awarded listed building status. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> and everything had to stop and we had to get uh, find somewhere for yeah. the men to go. Yeah, it's, yeah, you, I like that. You have been awarded. That's, uh, that, that's, uh, yeah. I still have the letter, yeah. yes. Yeah, well, you can have that frame now, but that's the kind of letter that every builder wants to get, isn't it? Uh, this, or um, they've just discovered an ancient monument when, they, when you dig up the back garden. That's another thing you don't really want for any... Anyway, I'm an archaeologist as well, so I shouldn't be saying that out loud. Um, this stunning home really impressed the judges with the reuse of uh, site materials to mitigate environmental impacts and to maintain the true character of the site, which is what we were talking about. What do you think was your favourite feature of the whole project? 
Well, it's got to be the crook frame, restoring the crook frame. We kept every piece of timber um, and of course all the stone walls were, were repointed in lime, uh, lime and plaster put on the walls, uh, but still exceeded building control regulations. So that's the, probably the biggest achievement is actually converting a building in that state and still passing building building regs. With the crook frame, how did you? What did you use to actually get that? Because that looked beautiful. I mean, you managed to keep some age about it, but you had to obviously had to clean off any dead wood or rubbish on it. So, sandblast it? Would you? Or no, no sandblasting. We used elbow grease. We we built scaffolding frame around every piece of timber, wire brush, and then linseed oil. Uh, finished it off. Yeah, see, in the end, it is like it's about elbow grease, but it's like going the extra mile, isn't it, to get that beautiful feature at the end of it? Listen, congratulations. Absolutely fantastic job, as were, to be honest, the other ones that were in the category looked amazing too. And that must be quite something. I mean, you look at the other ones in the category there, you are up against some really good opposition, weren't you? Some great builders in the country at the moment, do you think? There is. We're very privileged to win this category. It's, it's uh, phenomenal. Thank you very much. No, no, our pleasure. Congratulations to Carrick Homes Limited for delivering a challenging eco build. Right now, it's time for the large renovation project sponsored by BNCE, the provider of the People's Pension. The category is for residential or domestic restorations, refurbishments or extensions, including heritage projects valued at over £150,000. Let's take a look at some of the outstanding finalists, shall we? Um, Uski Contracts Limited, Northern Ireland. Bespoke Living Construction Limited, Southern Counties. Carrig Construction Limited Wales, Carrick Homes Limited Northern Counties, Earl and Callum Design and Build Limited London, Ipsum UK Limited Yorkshire and Trent, JC Building Services North West, Property Revolutions Limited Eastern Counties, Spay Building and Joinery Limited Scotland, and Stonewood Builders Limited South West, and Temple Derry Properties Limited Midlands. Let me do that again. Temple Derry. Property Limited Midlands. There's nothing worse than actually announcing someone's name wrong when you're in the finals. To announce the large renovation winner is Nicola Sinclair from B and C E, the provider of the People's Pension. Welcome, Nicola. Thank you, Nick. It's quite a show so far, isn't it? Loving it. In all kinds of different ways. Absolutely. <laughs> it's very hot. <laughs> it is. Again, everyone comes up here looking fine and I'm looking like a mess, but never mind. Uh, please, can we announce the winner? Certainly. Um, the winner of large renovation project for this year is... Stonewood Builders Limited. It's a wonderful project, it's a really sensitive restoration using some pretty incredible source material but then building on that to create an outstanding result for the customer. I love the range of heritage techniques that were harnessed to deliver the project and the quality of the finish was superb given some of the challenges associated with delivery. I think put simply you would just love to live in this property and the owner is clearly delighted. Stonewood was chosen as the winner because it combined so many different factors. It produced a beautiful house as a result of some wonderful craftsmanship and despite some significant challenges and most of all and most importantly a delighted client at the end of it. The obstacles that were overcome for this project were many and varied. I think the number of outbuildings that had to be renovated, the condition of for instance the roof bringing it up to a modern livable standard. I think all the judges looked at it and thought, it looks like a really pleasant place, not just a really pretty place to live in. It looks really comfortable. Congratulations to Stonewood Builders Limited. We've obviously got a big party. And hang on, there's a seat missing. Who's vacated the seat in the middle? There was someone there a minute ago. <laughs> Who's gone missing? I've got to get extra champagne. <laughs> Who's doing the talking? Are you all, cause, are you, are you all doing the talking? Oh, it's you, is it? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, listen, um, how does it feel to be a national winner? Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's up there with the birth of my first child. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Were you expecting it? Did you think you might be a murder chance? The child or the award. <laughs> <laughs> 
well, Eva, to be honest, let's, no, let's stick with the awards as we're there. Listen, it's, um, so uh, it's a great privilege and an honour. There's some, obviously some very uh, well-established um, companies within this country, within this award, and uh, every one of them is a worthy winner, so we feel very privileged to have uh, taken the award. Yeah. This um, loving restoration of the historic Grade 2 listed, again, we were in the listed category, Medieval Hall. Never easy, is it, when you're working on a listed building? Uh, stood out to the judges as first-class example of how to revitalise an historic property. Now, so you've got to be pleased to hear that. The judges thought it was a perfect example of it, but I can't believe a project of this size and scale would have been without its challenges. Tell me about, uh, well, for an example, well, tell me about some of the challenges that you faced. Yeah, I think, I think every project has its challenges, but Covington Court was, um, had had a lot, of, uh, a lot of stuff done to it over the years that probably wasn't um, very sympathetic to the original nature of the building. So our, our brief was to kind of restore some of the life back into it and turn it into a family home whilst, whilst retaining all those original features. And um, as I say, we came across a lot of issues and um, there was a telegraph pole in the main hall that was holding up the... Uh, one of the main beams that we found, which was interesting to overcome. But um, I've got to say, the team we had and the guys on, on the ground, the site manager Phil is here today. Um, it was uh, all of those people made it made, made it um, achievable, really. It was, uh, it was a real team effort. Brilliant. Can I just say, was there a row going on at the back of the room over a drink? Because somebody at the back of the room was over. <laughs> we yes. could hear. We could hear all of you talking, and somebody was having a row about a drink at the back of your collection. Now, what's going on? I think that was a couple of the directors arguing over the tap. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, did you, is it true you found a priest hole? And be careful, this is a family family show, right? So, like, no clever jokes. You found a priest hole? A hundred metre long priest hole? Correct, we did. We found a priest escape tunnel, which went from... Um, from one of the outbuildings, um, which was a cattle shed, I believe, in the back in the day, and it went um, a couple of hundred metres down to a, a, a bank, sort of a river bank. So that was pretty exciting to come across that. Wow, how amazing is that? Yeah. Now listen, I know the judges had a large list of outstanding features for this project, including the oak staircase, brickwork, and the glass connection, but. Looking at, looking at it as a job, and I've got to say, it, looks, it just looks beautiful on the pictures that we've seen. What's the bit that you're most proud of, do you think? I think um, just turning it back to its former glory. I mean, there are so many um, elements of it, but I think the great hall, the, the staircase and the fireplace and restoring that back into a real sort of um, you know, entertainment area was, was, quite, was quite key. Um, the clients here with us today... Lisa. So uh, it's always, it, it shows you a good project when the client's still talking to you at the end of it. So uh, she's. It was, Wasn't uh, she the one having a row about the drink at the back of the room just then? <laughs> Probably. I don't think they've put enough gin in it to be sorry. Uh, you'll have to shout a little bit from that distance, but just as the customer, because we haven't heard from that many customers here, and as we've got one in the room. You must be over the moon with how that, that place has come up. Because he says, you know, get it back to its former glory. But the truth of the matter is, I mean, I've done a lot of history, and that would have been a windy, whistly, cold and unhomely sort of home when it was originally built. And from what I can see, you've got yourself an amazing, warm, beautiful, historic home now. Yeah, I think that's right. We had um, maybe three working radiators for about four years before these guys started. Uh, so we handed our guests um, blankets as they came in the door for a long time in the winter. Are there only two? Are there only two working now? <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and we have a lot of children running around, very happy, um, and, and we're very proud to be a custodian of a little thing that's hopefully going to live several hundred years. Thanks to these Fantastic. Guys. That's really lovely. Uh, listen, uh, we started out talking about children for no reason at all, and we ended up talking about children at the end of it in a very lovely way. So, listen, congratulations again, Stoneman Builders Limited. Enjoy your evening. Celebrate uh, truly exceptional renovation. Congratulations. Right, so the next award is the, is the new one this year. It's actually the Building Company of the Year Award, sponsored by Promote UK. Odd, really, that we haven't had it before. It seems like a perfectly reasonable one to have. So let's, uh, let's talk about this award. It recognises a master builder company that has displayed outstanding leadership and business management and has also demonstrated a strong dedication to supporting staff and clients. 
along with receiving a certificate and a trophy, the winner will receive a voucher for a new website and a Google promotion package worth over £4,800, kindly donated by the category sponsor Promote UK. Let's have a look at the finalists. Bear Builders Limited, Yorkshire and Trent. Corner House Building Contractors Limited, Midlands. EP Muldoon Building Contractors Limited, Northwest. Haldane Construction Services Limited, Scotland. IJ Curry and Son Limited, Northern Counties. Interprove Limited, Eastern Counties. And Property Projects Southwest Limited, Southwest. Oh, and R&M Williams Limited, Wales. Not to mention RMR Homes Limited, Southern Counties. And Satanta Construction Limited, Northern Ireland. And Ultimate Engineering Limited, London. <clears throat> That's, as you can see, there are quite a few people on this list to announce the Building Company of the Year winner. We are joined by Mark White from Promote UK. Welcome, Mike. Mark, how are you? How are you? I'm fine, Nick. Better than you. Yes, yes, yes. I literally feel like I've been in the desert for a week. But, <laughs> but actually loving talking to the builders and actually hearing them all talk and hearing the pride in their work is quite something, isn't it? Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. really good. Uh, now, uh, the judges agreed on a highly commended award in this category because it was so... Closely fought. So, Mark, please announce the highly commended award. Yeah, well, big congratulations. The highly commended building company of the year um, is R&M Williams Limited. Well done, R&M Williams Limited. And R&M Williams Limited impressed the judges as they agreed this nomination demonstrated that they are a company under strong and effective leadership. The company maintains a balance on delivering great performance today while investing heavily in the future. The judges highlighted that R&M Williams Limited is a shining example in the industry. This master builder company was also recognized for the trust, understanding, and honesty they bring to their commercial relationships, strengthening the reputation they have built over the course of more than half a century, 50 years in the business, and still going as strong as the day they started. So that's to be congratulations. Now, Mark, I'll hand back over to you to announce the winner, please. Thanks, Nick. Well, I'm absolutely delighted to announce the winner of Building Company of the Year is Satanta Construction Limited. We felt that Satanta had a full program of work for a relatively small company of only 17 people they created or developed an innovative new product, which in itself created 12 new jobs. They secured funding of about £138,000 to develop a facility where this product could be developed off-site. And they were very successful in their client relationships, winning work with the likes of Claridge's Hotel and Pritzler Prize-winning architect Richard Rogers. The reason for choosing this company as winner of the category had been that the innovation that it has shown in a market that is changing rapidly. As we move forward into the true 2020s, we have to now support new thinking, new ideas and new technologies. And this company, through its demonstration of all these different areas, is a worthy winner. Congratulations to Sasanta Construction Limited, and there you all are. I was waiting for a minute, then we couldn't see a picture, but there you all are, the fat whole family. How are you doing? Yeah, we're doing very well. Fantastic. In the, in the end of having the kids involved, there's the kids are involved. Well, you know, look, look, I think that's been the change, isn't it? I mean, lockdown, it's like you can't hold a Zoom meeting without the kids coming in and, and joining in, and such as it should be, because really, that's what a family building company is all about, isn't it? Providing futures for the... Family and the kids, and it giving them a secure home. Him and I had starting them young. Good, get them up the chimneys. They're almost the size to get up a chimney at the weekend as yeah. well, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> so, what does an award like this actually mean to like a business of your size, for example? No, it's, it's, it's always great to be recognised, but I'm, I'm sure lots of the other companies uh, do what they can for their company, for their staff, to just bring themselves forward. Now, everybody's finding it tough. I have found the stuff over the last year of COVID and tough now through uh, uh, material availability and material prices and uh, labour availability. We're all, get, we're all getting a tough, but we're all working our way through it and keeping the chin up and working hard. And uh, yeah, it's just nice to be recognised. Brilliant. Thank you. Yeah. Now, listen, you, uh, you secured funding from uh, Invest Northern Ireland to expand 
uh, your research and development operations, uh, subsequently developed a dormer window system that employed 12 new personnel from the local community. So that's pretty impressive. Yeah. So um, anybody who goes by, uh, by Claridge's Hotel, you'll see our work when you look up. The, the, there was a four-story extension built on top. We built it in Northern Ireland, put it in the back of a lorry and sent it to them. It's the biggest Lego project, the biggest IKEA project you've ever seen. So if we can do it at Claridge's, we can do it elsewhere. Sounds fantastic. You make it sound like it would just like turn up and nail it on the top and it looked all right. It was a wee bit like that. It was a wee bit of background work. <laughs> a bit more background work went in. But yeah, it was, it was interesting and challenging, but definitely <coughs> rewarding to get there. Definitely rewarding to get there. Uh, they, but listen, they haven't I, 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 a weekend yet, but I'm waiting for it. Listen, the, oh yeah, yeah, no, you'd think, wouldn't you? you get a weekend of Claridge is uh, invited exactly. as a result, it's wouldn't not, you? Not, they haven't offered it up, but it's coming, I'm sure it is. I'm sure, it is. I'm sure it's in the post, yeah. It gets someone to look after the children and, like, make it a romantic weekend. <laughs> that'd, be, <laughs> yeah. that'd be the thing, wouldn't it? Uh, listen, um, for, for someone, like, it's very easy to, uh, in, in the current tough times, to cut corners and maybe not invest in, in, in people as much, but you've obviously taken the view that, you know, you need to take people with you on that, on that journey. Most, most of our guys have been with us for like 12, 15 years and beyond. And we, we never uh, price things to be the cheapest. We price things to do what it takes to do it and do it right. And I'm sure lots of the people involved here are the same are of the same mindset. Be good at what you do and what it takes to do it good. That's what it takes to do it good. But sometimes yeah, being cheap, I talk, being that, it's I, cheap. I talk a lot to, um, to friends of mine when they go, I'm thinking of having some building work done on next month. And I say... If you can get a builder within the next six months, <laughs> they'd probably not very good. <laughs> because if you're good and you do a good job, you'll get booked. Yeah. Listen, I know it sounds you've raised some of your higher retention of staff, and that you mentioned you've got had people with you over a long time. You're obviously a decent chap, so listen, congratulations. What would you like to say to your whole team, by the way? You're probably tuned in. Yeah, if they're, if they're there. Thank you, guys. I, I, when, it goes, when it's going well, I'll take all the credit. When it's going bad, I'll blame them. <laughs> yeah, mate, I think that probably sounded like it's my round in the pub. So uh, <laughs> I think you probably sold yourself down to a long yeah, that's round it. there. Listen, lovely. Congratulations to you and the whole Thank team you. at Satanta Construction. Really well deserved. Thank you. Well, another four amazing winners. Uh, listen, it's now time for you today's entertainment. Uh, first row finalist, uh, audience members, get ready as Chris is about to join you in the Zoom room. He's going to need your help. So I am pleased to welcome, all the way from America, the award-winning comedian, the YouTube sensation, and the UK's finest freestyle rapper, Chris Dada! Yeah, thank you very much, Nick. Uh, it's a wee I bit chilly over applause. here in New York. I thought I would uh, pop a Parker on just to rub it in um, to the guys in the studio. I'm Chris. I am a freestyle rapper. I make up raps on the spot based entirely on suggestions. Not written, not prepared, not rehearsed, made up in the moment. To do that, I do need your help. I need your assistance. I need you guys, everyone here, to think of a word, a topic, or a phrase that you would like to hear a rap about. Now, there are some guidelines. Uh, one, it's family friendly. Two, be more imaginative than just food or animals. People always say dog and pizza. You can be more creative than that. The best suggestion I ever had was a German man who said, a day in the life of an Aztec high priest. Yeah, I'll rap about that, Englishman. So please do try and be as creative as you can. Um, and all you've got to do, if you've got a suggestion, is just wave in front of your camera and my lovely technical assistant will spotlight you. We'll have a little chat. We'll get a suggestion. Once we've got five, we will drop a beat and we'll see what we come up with. Um, the first suggestion is always the hardest, so don't be shy. We're not going to be mean to you if you're just like, oh, yeah, a two-wheeled tricycle. Don't worry. That's totally fine. But give us a little wave. We'll get you spotlighted and we'll find out what you want to hear a rap about. I will ask my technical wizard to pick on someone if you guys don't start waving. That's how it's going to work. I'll be like, yeah, just spotlight someone and pick on them. That's what we want to see. Let's see. Who's that first one going to be? Who's it going to be? Tech whiz, pick on someone. Pick on someone if they're too shy. I love it. I love it. You're all Wait, giving man. it that when you're on. Ah, hello there. It's the Bagshot's Kitchen Gang. Sup, sup, sup. Look at you with all your musical instruments behind you. This is amazing. What would you guys like a rap about? What would you like to rap about? <laughs> That's not how it works. If that was it how it works. No. <laughs> no, no, no. No, I, I, well, I quite like that the gentleman sat between you hasn't moved or spoken through the whole event. Is he a cardboard cutout? <laughs> yeah. Be shy. 
What, what's this shy person's name? Toby. Toby. Toby, do you play any of those instruments behind you? Yeah, guitar. Oh, cool. Uh, what type of music on your guitar? Uh, it's rock sort of stuff. <laughs> rock sort of stuff. Amazing. Don't worry, I'm not going to ask you to do it. That's our first suggestion. Toby, who sits there just being shy and plays rock music on the guitar. That's suggestion number one. Thank you, bag shots. Let's get our second suggestion, if my technical whiz can spotlight someone else. Let's see what we're going to get a rap about. I love it. I'm glad we got Toby to talk. I was just convinced he was like an alabaster model just behind him being painted very realistically. So who's our second suggestion going to be? Who's it going to be? Oh, here we go. Oh, we've got we've got a pair. What do you guys want to hear a rap about with your spiral staircase? Look at this. Oh, it's our winner. You're back. You made it back. Amazing. Back. It was so lovely to hear. I was confused because that wasn't the background you guys had before. Um, no. You've moved it just to show off better your spiral staircase. Like, yeah, I won the award and my staircase doesn't go straight up. It goes round. What do you guys want to rap about? We, we reckon princesses. Oh, princesses. Do you have a particular favourite princess? Which princess? Ariel. We're going to go for Ariel. Oh, Ariel. The best one. The best the one. Best she can one. she can live on land and in water. She's brilliant. Yeah. Mulan can't do that. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you very much. Let's Thank get you. our third suggestion. And Tech Wiz, you can remove Mommy, the other people on the screen. We don't want to keep them feeling self-conscious. They can uh, be spotlighted. Let's get our third suggestion. What's it going to be? So far, we've got Toby in the Bagshot household and Princess Ariel. Um, our third suggestion. Where's it coming from? What is it going to be? Oh, hello. We got G. Ellison. Sup? Look at you. Not framed in the center. Gosh, I imagine when you build a house, like all the doors and windows are on one side. What would you like a rap about? You'll need to unmute yourself so we can hear your lovely suggestion. Most, most, of, most of the about the, the builder of the year. The, the, something, the, some, <laughs> something on the lines of the FMV builder of the year, maybe. <laughs> so wait, wait. Just wait. Is, did you did you win? Not yet. You never <laughs> Not know. Yet. Though. You never know. Though you you could actually put the pause on it. I, I okay, brilliant. I feel like you think I've got access to the answers, and I know no. who's going to be announced. <laughs> I really don't. But what a great topic! The most meta thing ever. Just that's yes, what we're rap here about for, isn't it? rap yeah, about the. Well, that is for. what we're here for. Exactly. Yeah. Well, thank you very yeah. much, and, and bon right. chance. All the best for that. Let's get our fourth and fifth suggestions. <laughs> Let's uh, get them nice and quick because oh we can God, drop and do this. I love it. I love it. I love it. Love it. Hey, oh my gosh! Uh, property building maintenance in Wales. Thank you for clarifying which country. Oh what would you guys God. like a rap about? This is great. You look like you managed the England rugby team. What's going on here? You'll need to. You'll need to unmute yourself so we can we can hear from a, a man here. Oh my God! What's it going to be? The Friday feeling. <laughs> the Friday feeling, yes. Uh, we've all got it. We've all got it. Um, amazing stuff. Let's get our fifth and final suggestion so far. Toby Bagshots, Princess Ariel, the FMB Builder of the Year, and the Friday feeling. But our fifth one, and let's make it the best one, guys. If you've got a suggestion, make it the best one. Who's it going to be? What is it going to be about? Tech Wizard, give me that spotlight. You're leaving poor, poor. Is it is it Eddie that you look like? I can't remember his name. Anyway, oh, it's Chris. Hey, Chris, in your black and white, looking all fancy. Oh, it's like a French film. Chris, unmute yourself. What would you like a rap about? Pinball Wizard. Pinball Wizard. Of course, that's absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much, Chris. I appreciate that. Right. There we go. We've got your five suggestions. Spotlight back on me to remind you they are Toby from the Backshots, who's a shy, model-looking man with guitar, Princess Ariel, the FMB Builder of the Year, the Friday Feeling, and Pinball Wizard. Well, let's drop this beat and have some fun. Having fun, yeah, the rhymes that we do Talk about P.W., the song by The Who You could watch the musical movie See Tommy on the seafront going smoothly He's a wizard with the flippers Hit him left and right If it's going down the hole, then he's like I. it doesn't matter He makes sure he keeps the tiny sphere In the pinball machine Three cheers for the man who's a wizard Going for the gizzard Got sticky fingers, kind of like a lizard or a gecko Do you like The Who? Heck no I feel kind of weird about Townsend, though And Rod 
such adultery Don't fuck me for the rhymes You might think the band was before my time But no worries, I ain't feeling sad I was introduced to the Who by my dad And they can sell out Yeah, it's so revealing End of the week, give me that feeling It's appealing Me and my gang say Off to the pub on the Friday FF, I'm ever so glad Thank Christ, we can have a Friday night And my advice, get the rounds in Get more, what time is it like? Whoa, after 4, 5, 20 I need plenty booze in the pub If I've got a celebration, you know Pints up, if I'm feeling natural with glee Why, cos I am the builder of the year, FMB. Why have we got a little spotlight on there Just a man leaning on his chair Like, I don't get this Maybe rhymes are clever I'm on my little couch, yeah And it's black with the leather That's the top prize Yeah, saying there, saying I really hope I'm the builder of the year But don't worry, I'm aware of y'all I talk about the princess called Ariel That's for my man Luke and his daughter We got some nice little rhymes and I ought to Talk about her friend Sebastian Ain't bad, Jamaican accent He be a crab under the sea I can talk, I like to comb my hair with a fork If you've watched The Little Mermaid Then that's making some sense She be deep underwater like the Marianas Trench, trying to walk on the land Go get it, Ariel Long red hair and Eric Kinda weird that the fairy tale Meant that when she walked on sand It felt like she was impaled With the nails in the legs Last thing, very handsome in the head Just sitting still, not feeling the thrill Toby Bagshot, he be fitting the bill he was there, yeah, winning, this is a doddle I'm sitting there not talking like a shy model Maybe he'd be wise like Lieutenant Spock What does he play on his guitar? Well, rock, kind of Yeah, it's a mess, I like to go down shredding with my fingers on the frets I can sit there feeling quite nice When I'm out here on the Isle of Wight I believe that's what it was, or maybe that's wrong Doesn't matter, I did the five topics there in the song And we're still going strong, yeah, impress And I hope Luke's daughter loved the princess yes that is what i'm talking about right we have time for one more one more rap for you guys for this one i need you all involved what i want you to do go and grab something that you want a rap about grab an object maybe it's a drill bit maybe it's a wall anchor that tells you i've been trying to mount a shelf recently go grab something hold it in front of your camera we'll drop a beat we will spotlight you one at a time for maybe 10 seconds each person i will rap about those objects i'm gonna rap about anything you hold up again keep in mind it's family friendly Oh, let's spotlight that first person. The beat's going. If a magical wizard can add someone on. Oh, yes, here we go. The first thing we're rapping about, we're starting off strong. Nice. Don't know what's coming, I hope it goes well Let me build it up like my name's Cold Wells I can get this at the start, not later I'm doing all the sums on the nice calculator It might frustrate you if you hit the wrong key And then you get confused like, do I press C? Or maybe C, E? It's hard to say I'll be pressing equals anyway Like back in the day, my teacher said Yo, Chris, you should stop it You won't have a calculator in your pocket And now Satanta got a gift like Santa Are you celebrating? Yes, that's the answer Holding up a nice little bottle Have a fun time Going full throttle in the sunshine Dunking down that nice wine Probably white, not red It keeps you up all night Not straight to the head That's a hangover in the morning Sup, can see your group Yes, I'm adoring You sat so far away I can't see in the room Looking like lots of lights And a weird balloon You're bringing closer Like I hold it up Here you go, Chris It's a weird red cup Like we're in a house party in the states you're still kind of blurry how to see your face but it's fine we don't mind getting in the spirit i hope it's not empty i hope that you feel it and this thing it's obscure in your face looking like a little picture out in space and i thought i want to be an astronaut but got into the rap and yes i adore seeing all of the planets talk when i'm rapping i'm seeing that sun i'm seeing that saturn with the rings important we can discuss we got g ellison again yes Yes, I trust he be holding it up. It's kind of mean. Is that a tiny orange or a tangerine or a nectarine? Who even knows? I'll be peeling them. Easy though, he be giving me thumbs up with the fist. And now Mitchell, you be waving never missed. I'm getting kind of funky. I see a monkey in the jungle. Yeah, he hungry. He's a charmer looking for bananas. That's a little puppet. Oh yeah, we can call us. Waving to side to side like he rolling with his 
is true. Look at the height of the shorts on you. I'm not really sure, wanna see those thigh. And Angus here, yeah, he loves to spy. He'd be like, hi, I'm Angus, I'm spotting you. Coming here from a window with binoculars. Oh, that's okay. Maybe observe the birds or maybe hide in a hedge like some kind of perv. And that's okay. You can magnify. There we go. Oh, all build roaster guy. What you got here is just a weird little tie or a serviette or napkin. It's hard for me to try. One's a little ball from the golf course. Does it say AFC Bournemouth? I thought it would be kind of weird. It's insane, y'all. You can draw on anything there with a pencil. Yeah, I think I got it. Balancing the ball on the head, though. Still live in states, but I still know the logo. And carrot construction, that's what we like. Keeping healthy with a big bucket of the wipes. Understand? Yellow and black, it's for the hands. I like that you're standing up, trying to make sure I can see what you're holding right there. Everyone else in the office is just laxing in the chair. Like, yeah, you got to hold it out at arm's length. Two more objects. Got the brain strength. PRL, what you're going to show? Tiny little pliers. I hope you don't go on a job with those and try and move some things. Wouldn't even work. Probably would break the springs, but still, it's better if you want my advice. You should get the separates. No Swiss Army knife. Last thing to come. Only one more to go. Then we gotta move on. Get back to the show. And this one. Oh, what a mad caper. You're abusing it. Wasting all of those staplers. If you press it too hard, it'll spit them all out. Then you can't keep the paper. Oh, wow. It's got the black on the nose and the blue on the body. You see, you got the blonde hair curly. I'm sorry. It just went away. We can't see what you hold up but there we go a freestyle rap that we sold up boom ah there we go that's how we do the show i hope you enjoyed that i should also point out it's actually deadly hot in here i don't know why i wore this i apologize back to the studio back to nick thank you very much to all of you guys my name's chris turner goodbye let's have the most amazing round of applause for chris what an impressive performance and i've got to tell you when you start i was going well how's this going to work he's not going to be able to do this as he goes along Mate, your brain, you were, like, how does that work? Oh, uh, cheers, man. You just kind of black out and disassociate from your body and it just flows out. It's, it's troubling, really. Yeah, well, that's a standard Friday night feeling for me, but, uh, exactly. but like, never, what, yeah. never with anything as creative as, uh, as rapping. Mate, that was genuinely gobsmackingly brilliant. Thank you very much. Really, really appreciate it. Much. A real pleasure and all the best. Well, Cheers, yes, yes. I wasn't that amazing. I really properly good. I wasn't sure how it was going to go when it started, but I'd book him. I think he's brilliant. Right, let's give out some more awards, shall we? The next award is the House Builder Award, sponsored by FMB Insurance. This category is for house builder and developers demonstrating a strong commitment to building quality new homes, either as bespoke one-off properties or as part of a housing development. So let's have a look at the finalists. Alski Contractors... Alski Contracts Limited, Northern Ireland. I'm going to get that right eventually. Atlantic Construction Wales, Corner House Building Contractors Limited, Midlands, G. Ellison Builders, Northwest, H.M. Rate and Sons Limited, Scotland, Keiger Homes Limited, Yorkshire and Trent, Kiesel Group, London, Mason Construction, London Limited, Eastern Counties, McKnight and Son Builders, Northern Counties, SSJB Contractors Limited, Southern Counties, Stonewood Builders Limited, Southwest and to announce the House Builder Award winner. We are joined by Sadie Phillips from FMB Insurance. Welcome, Sadie. Hello. It's quite a show so far, isn't it? It's really good. I'm enjoying it. I love that rap. Wasn't that incredible? So good. I'm so not so a good. massive rap person, but I thought that was brilliant. <laughs> OK, hand over to you to announce the winner, please. Absolutely delighted to announce that the winner is Kiga Homes Limited. I think it was just the quality of the buildings, the design in a very constrained and limited site with contaminated land and they have produced an outstanding development. It just felt right. It fitted into its surroundings. I think Kiga Homes really demonstrated that in order to be a great master builder, you have to take a really holistic approach to house building. This project wasn't just a collection of really good quality homes. 
it positively contributed towards the community that it was in. This particular project was the overall winner because Kiergaard Homes, they clearly demonstrated a much broader approach to the development of good quality homes. It wasn't just about the build, it was about the sum of the parts. They brought into play community, local distinctiveness, a really sensitive approach to a complex and tight site. And the outcome is a super, super small development of new homes in a village. Congratulations to Kiga Homes Limited. Excellent new build properties. They look, look at you guys going mad as we were announcing the winner there. That's absolutely <laughs> fantastic. Punching the air, arms like arms in the air like you just don't care. It looked like you were dancing to the rap beat. It was good that rap, wasn't it? Did you enjoy that? Good. Yeah. 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 So never mind about that. Let's talk about you. How does it feel to be the national winner? It feels fantastic. That is remarkable. It's uh, we've never been a national winner before. We've been a regional winner, but never a national. So that's fantastic for the company. Yeah. Now listen, you built five new homes that complemented the area's rural charm. I know the judges love the streetscape, emphasising that these new properties already feel part of the village. Is that important to you? Yeah, it was very important to get the site to fit in with the uh, location that was in, which is uh, next to uh, uh, an old, the old village church, uh, which is... Uh, I'm sure it's a great uh, one listed building, so it's an important heritage site. Uh, we live, the site is opposite a school, and uh, yeah, it was important to get it to fit in on the edge of the village and in such a countryside location. Yeah, well, the judges noted that this is an improvement, not only for the people who bought the homes, but the people who actually live in the community. Um, You've obviously positively impacted the community with this project. Have you had uh, you know, people coming up to you and talking about how the buildings sit in the village? Yeah, we've, uh, we've had lots of people. We could have sold these houses three, four, five times over. Because once the sort of project finished, they just loved what they saw and how it fitted in. And many people from the village have seen it because they dropped the children off to the primary school and, uh, and they just think it's great. Great, uh, great selling. Mate, I don't want to tell you your business, but if you could have sold them three or four times over, you underpriced them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, have a fantastic celebration this evening. Congratulations again to Kiga Homes Limited for creating stunning new homes. Well done. <laughs> it's now time for the Commercial or Public Sector Project Award, sponsored by Green and Pleasant Events, which is awarded for an outstanding commercial building project or outstanding public sector project. Let's have a look at the finalists. Architectural Limited, London. Form Construction Midlands Limited, Midlands. George Fair Joiners and Contractors, Scotland. GP McManus, Northern Ireland. Mitchells Construction and Development Limited, Southern Counties. And Property Building Maintenance, Wales Limited, Wales. Not to mention Punch Construction Limited, Eastern Counties. And Radford Construction Services Limited, Northern Counties. Then there's SR Design and Build Limited, Northwest. Stonewood Builders Limited, Southwest, and that completes the list to announce the commercial or public sector project winner. We are joined by Francis Green from Green and Pleasant Events. Welcome, Francis. Thank you. Hi, Nick. Are you enjoying it so far? Brilliant. Really fun awards. It's quite fun, isn't it? Yeah. I think really actually the technical faults and our terror that it might drop off error any minute has given it a certain edge. It really has. Yeah. There's <laughs> <laughs> Now, the judges agreed on a highly commended award in this category as well. Francis, please tell us who the highly commended recipient is. So, the highly commended recipient is Architectural Limited. Well done, Architectural Limited. Architectural Limited's construction of Woods Quay, a new luxury reception and birthing pontoon, involved an unconventional construction process which took place on a floating barge. The completed project was then towed 25 miles to the site and moored in place. The judges thought this was an innovative, technically challenging and beautifully executed project. The use of off-site construction, the transportation logistics and the significant location have been embraced and overcome to great effect. They summed it up by saying the end product is tremendous. We once did a build on a barge 
and uh, the lads came on with spirit levels. I've got to tell you, they don't work if you're building on walls. It, it just doesn't work at all. Now, Francis, I will hand back over to you to announce the winner. Thank you, and I am delighted to announce that the winner of the Commercial or Public Sector Project is Property Building Maintenance Wales Limited. Look at the boys celebrating there. Congratulations. This was a dramatic improvement in appearances and performance for the conversion of what was a pretty tired asset. I think the team worked with the community to give them the building that they wanted and improve the area while also providing employment. One of the things that gave this project the edge over the others was the fact that the contractors involved were so proud to be FMB members because this showed their values, it showed the things that they were striving to achieve and their FMB membership was mentioned as something to be proud of. I just would like to say to the winner, well done, fantastic. It's not an easy project to go for and you're going to be making a massive difference to so many different lives from children to parents to grandchildren and people that aren't even born yet. And I think that's going to be such a legacy to leave in an area that really, really needs it. So well done and congratulations. Congratulations to Property Building Maintenance Wales Limited. You had a proper celebration going on there, lads. Oh, uh, definitely. Thank you. <laughs> you look like a rugby... To be fair, the rapper was right. You do look like a rugby front row there, although I think you need to beat... I think you need to beef up the tight head on the tight head side, if that's... <laughs> definitely. Listen, listen, what does it mean to you and your business to win an award like this? It's proper recognition, isn't it? Oh, definitely, you know, and in a tough year, it's an uh, amazing achievement. And uh, I'm with my staff, uh, everybody involved in the project, the site manager, Ross on the side here, Jack, the pro uh, project surveyor. Everybody works so hard on the boots on the ground, the subcontractors. It's, um, it's, it's just a welcome uh, uh, award to win. And from the, the premier, sort of trade organisation and allies. A dramatic improvement in appearance of this property really stood out to the judges, that's what they said. What were you most proud of in it? Because the, for, let me just say, from my point of view, uh, private con you know, a private job is, you know, you've got somebody, a client with the money to do it. Very often when you're doing a, a public uh, property, the people who are going to use it don't have that kind of choices in their life. So, so to bring that extra level of quality to it uh, is really dear to my heart, to make sure that, you know, people who can't necessarily go out and build their own home or do that kind of thing could still have that level of quality. You've obviously brought that to it. What were you most proud of? Uh, absolutely. Uh, it, it was really a, a tired, sort of dilapidated uh, old office block that was, uh, you know, stood uh, uh, in the community as, uh, and not exactly that. And we want to bring something back uh, to the community, that uh, not just housing, but something that they can be proud of and, and engage the community with it. And um, I, th I think it's provided much work of homes in sort of like a socially deprived area, really. And the community around us we engaged uh, quite heavily with, you know, the local boys come to school, was just up the road. And everybody saw see the project develop, and uh, that was the biggest thing for us. It's seen a difference in made to the uh, just the how ex additional housing and the, and, and the just general community. Really. Yeah, absolutely right. Now, another project had several unforeseeable changes to the original plans, which you overcame as a team. Is there anything you would like to say to the whole team who worked on this project? Yeah, I think um, everybody's input was key. You know, uh, we had, as you know, we had a social audit, a lot of budget controls. Um, and it was a lot of ideas from everybody in the team. We were big, big cost savings and uh, but still deliver the quality. Um, and I think I was uh, critical. So uh, everybody's input in it was uh, fantastic. Yeah, lovely. Hey, listen, um, give my love to Wales. What a brilliant project. Congratulations to the team at Property Building Maintenance Wales Limited. Um, you really deserve it, and uh, congratulations. Thanks very much. Thank you, Nick. Right, the next award is an inspiring one as we get to celebrate the achievements of the next generation of tradespeople. The Apprentice Award sponsorship uh, by Openreach recognises individuals who have demonstrated exceptional practical skills as well as commitment to their chosen trade. And let's face it, 
you know, we're talking about people who are the future of the industry. Along with receiving a certificate and a trophy, the winner will also receive a cheque for £500, which is no small beer if you're an apprentice, and will also take home a red letter day voucher worth £200, kindly donated by the category sponsor, OpenReach. Let's have a look at the finest, shall we? Ben Wilcock, Broadfield Construction, Northwest Limited, Northwest. Finley Anderton, Carwin Jones Construction Limited, Wales. Harry Castle, David Smallcombe Limited, Midlands. Rodrigo McCafferty, HM Rate and Sons Limited, Scotland. Layla Williams, JKL Construction and Carpentry Limited, Eastern Counties. Luke Emery, Lowry Building and Civil Engineering Limited, Northern Ireland. Ed Brush, Stonewood Builders Limited, Southwest. So there are our young apprentices. And literally, I just want to say before we get to the winner, all of you, amazing to be actually named at this stage in your career. But there can only be one winner uh, of the final and uh, who do you deserve to be acknowledged for their hard work and dedication. So I'm uh, on stage joining me at the moment for the Apprentice Award to give the wave in front of the uh, audience and to announce... I'm making no sense at all here, am I? It's the, it's the heat is finally going. To announce the Apprenticeship Award... Winner, we are joined by Andy Nielsen from Open Reach. Welcome, Andy. I finally got around to it in the end. I'm sorry. You did. Thank you, Nick. That's right. You're looking very small. I am. I wouldn't be if I stood out here for too long, though, Nick, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I'd just like to say I'm delighted to be here on behalf of Open Reach to present the uh, Apprentice Award. Good luck, all the finalists. And the winner is Luke Emery, Lowry Building and Civil Engineering Limited. Looking at the commitment that Luke put in to gaining the range of qualifications in such a short period of time demonstrates that not merely a willingness to gain the qualifications but an enthusiasm for the job he's undertaking. After a lot of deliberation, um, Luke was chosen, I think, because of the real roundness of the submission. Luke's already gained the respect of his team as a result of his academic achievements and his dedication, not just to delivering a quality product, but also going the extra mile, I think, in terms of the services provided uh, to his customers. To stand out in a field of very strong candidates was, as itself, telling. But he was a very well-rounded individual. He had determination, he had teamwork, he had communication. He also clearly had a lot of ambition. It seemed very good at his job and was willing to progress and build on the skills and the talent that he had. Congratulations, Luke. How are you doing, mate? Um. Delighted. <laughs> uh, who's that in the background on the sofa? Us, 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 the rest of the gang. <laughs> uh, do us a favour, like, hello, gang. Would you put, would you draw the curtain a bit across? Because it's bright sunshine <laughs> behind you, we can't see you. Just pull the curtain. No, the other one, the one behind your head. Pull that one across. That's it. Oh, brilliant. There you go. There you are. All the family in. <laughs> so, how old are you, Luke? Uh, Twenty. Smash it. And what decided? Why did you decide to do an apprenticeship? Uh, I think, uh, well, it was a combination of things, but I felt like uh, initially I had a totally different, a totally different path decided before taking an apprenticeship, and I just thought that it, I liked sort of the, the environment that I would be put in, you know, with an apprenticeship, a little bit more variety with it, you know, getting out and about, and a bit more practical, you know. And you are now National Apprentice of the Year. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Look at them all. Look how proud they are of you in the background. Look at them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, Luke, your colleagues commented in the submission that it is a pleasure to teach a natural talent like Luke. I bet they don't chat to you that way all the time, do they? <laughs> uh, Luke, no we're comment. different on site. No. <laughs> hey, listen, is there anything you'd like to say to the team at Lowry Building and Civil Engineering Limited no. who nominated Oops. you and have given you the opportunity? Most definitely, yeah. Um, uh, I would like to just sort of, I mean, that's incredible, but I'd like to thank all of them, everybody at the team, you know, that's welcomed me from, from the start and continues to accommodate for me. And, you know, I mean, makes an effort for me, you know, uh, 
it's it's uh, it's 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 a good environment to work in. And I would like to as, as well sort of especially thank my mentor as well because I know he he was probably as nervous as I was. <laughs> Your mentor, did you say? Yeah, my mentor Tommy. Yeah, yeah. Tommy, what's his surname? Tommy who? Tommy Caterson. Lovely. It's always nice to give a mentor a message. I think there's not enough. Yeah. What are you going to do with the 500 quid? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Buy tonight's takeaway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, family takeaway tonight. A couple of quid down the pub, maybe. Then the rest of it can save it up for something good. <laughs> Listen, yeah. congratulations, Luke. What a worthy winner. Lovely to see the family. So, so proud of you. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that concludes all of the category winner announcements, which brings us to our last award announcement of the day. Before we move on to the announcement of the overall winner of the 2021 Master Builder Awards, I'd like to congratulate all of the winners and the finalists. You should all be very proud of your achievements. You all demonstrate the difference that a Master Builder makes to the industry and to your clients' lives. Um, while I move over and out of the way, um, I'd just like to say thank you for bearing with me, um, because, listen, I, I, I've you know, started out hot, suit, I've got sweaty. I've literally got salt marks on me. It's been so bad. Uh, this, the team in here have been brilliant. If you want a uh, perfect opportunity as well to donate to the Lighthouse Club, who are doing amazing work, if you haven't already. And our last uh, winner, Luke Emery, has donated twice, by the way, that young lad that we've just seen there. Apprentice of the Year has donated twice, so thank you, Luke. Um, as all of you know, the overall Master Builder of the Year winner will drive away with a brand new Isuzu pickup truck. Let's see some footage of the truck in action before announcing the winner. What a bit of kit that is. The overall 2021 Master Builder of the Year Award is sponsored by Isuzu, and the winner will receive a brand new Isuzu D-Max V-Cross pickup truck valued at more than £37,000. Joining me on stage is George Wallace from Isuzu. Welcome, George. Isuzu has partnered, partnered with um, F&B for, well, a few years now, hasn't it, really? Yeah, we're at the last awards, and it's uh, been a partnership that's been important to us. And Can you just describe why the partnership is working, why it's important to you, do you think? Um, it's really the shared values. It's, we've got, we both want high standards, we both want high quality, and we, we definitely, most importantly, want to be, to be professional. So how, do you, like, how does your business support me, small and medium-sized builders? Well, we provide a range of uh, all new D-Maxes that can be a workhorse or they can be a weekend warrior. So it depends on what you want to do. Yeah, do you know what? You're, you're absolutely right in that area because at the moment you're like because you know to, to find that um, that business vehicle that could actually then you can get the family in as well and do stuff at the weekend and that's uh, that's why it kind of works, doesn't it? That's exactly that. You, you want the ultimate pass all in a week, and you want a family friendly vehicle at the weekend. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. and a great bit of kit. Uh, George, you're involved in the judging for the overall national. Winner. Can you talk to us through your? Um, Experience, what was it like seeing all, the, all of these projects and the amazing work that we've been celebrating here today? Well, all the nominations were amazing. Yeah. Um, so the finalists were even more amazing. And then to try and choose a, a winner out of the finalists was an even tougher decision. So. Yeah, yeah, some of these have been absolutely breathtaking, haven't they? What would you like to say to our finalists? I'd just like to say good luck to all of you. Well done for winning so far, um, but there can be only one overall winner. So uh, we'll see from there. Thank you, George. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you have all been waiting for, announcing our overall winner. I'm heading over to a regional camera crew, an FMB director, who are live from a secret location. If you are one of our lucky national project category winners, listen out for the sound of a horn and a knock on your door and come outside to see if you are a lucky winner. Take it away, Phil. Okay.
Stonewood Builders, congratulations for being this year's winner of the Master Builder Awards on your large renovation projects. Congratulations to all of you. What a fantastic job that has been. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. So how does it feel to be the winners? Absolutely. <laughs> Outstanding. I'm shocked, genuinely shocked, yeah, and, and thrilled. So thank you very much. It's amazing. I, as a it's, team, we would all say the yeah, same thing, wouldn't we? Uh, Incredible. You know, we're so lucky to have a fair few of us here today, and we had our client here earlier who sadly had to disappear, so she's not here to enjoy this moment. But it was a fabulous project, and uh, the FNB are a wonderful organisation. It's the 80th <laughs> year, so we couldn't be more delighted. Oh, well, that's really good. Cool. <laughs> and how do you feel, how, how is this going to work with your business in terms of... Oh, it's just amazing, the yeah. profile the and the exposure and, mm -hmm. and the uh, kind of yeah, acknowledgement changing. that we're one of the best in such a fantastic organisation. Really yeah. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, that's thrilled. great. Come and have a look at this Isuzu D-Max. Uh -huh. <coughs> yeah. <Wow. laughs> <laughs> uh, you'll you'll need, need to press the, the, yeah, you'll you'll need to press the button. <laughs> There we go. You might need a booster seat. <laughs> <laughs> I drove it from the dealer. It's like driving a limousine. It's lovely inside. Leather seats, air conditioning. Absolutely packed with gizmos. Nick could have done with the air conditioning. Could have done the uh, presentation from in there. Couldn't <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. Well, congratulations, Stonewood Builders, for your great win. It's been fantastic. And um, this uh, is a culmination of a huge amount of work, a huge amount of input from all of our members. 550 entries this year that were represented across 11 regions in the UK, including, of course, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. It's been fantastic and we've had 23 independent judges who worked their socks off to come to this final point where the Master Builder of the Year has now been given that award has been given to Stonewood Builders. But this is not the end of the Master Builder Awards by any means. In fact, it's the beginning of the next Master Builder Awards. And we're saying to all of our Master Builders, all our, of our members of the FMB, you can join into this. All you need to do is to start taking photographs of your projects, small projects, large projects, get testimonials from your clients as well, and keep those on your portfolio and then in due course, we'll let you know when you can actually submit those entries to be part of the next round of Master Builder Awards. So it's a great day here today. We'd like to thank, of course, Isuzu, who are our key sponsors, but also our other sponsors who have allowed the Ma Master Builder Awards to take place. So thank you very much. And thank you, of course, to the Manor House Golf Club, who have been our hosts here today in these beautiful surroundings near Castle Coombe, in the heart of the Cotswolds in Wiltshire. And it's been a lovely day as well. Congratulations and back to the studio and back to Nick. Thank you. I just wait till they, I was just getting around to look at the car again. Yeah, but it must be very tough looking at that and to see somebody who's, uh, you know, a, a proper builder who's done an amazing job and the joy on their faces there with a bit of kit. as well, well deserved winner. And fair to say, actually, of all of the, you know, looking at all the various the finalists, that any one of them could have ended up with the, with the car, a really tough decision to pick between it them. It was really a very tough and lengthy process, actually. Yeah. Because there there's, there was fag papers between all of them. Yeah, That's what it'll be interesting to see the roster they work out so that they can all have a go in the car and use it at the weekends. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah, Especially, thank you very much. Hey, listen, congratulations to the 2021 Master Builder Award winner, Stonewood Builders Limited. Thank you very much, Phil. Uh, big cheer at home for Phil Hodge, FNB South Director, for surprising our deserved winner. I'm also unbelievably pleased that that link up works. <laughs> Forgive me for everything that went on today. Uh, let's take another look at the stunning project. This project is an outstanding example of 
British craftsmanship at its very best. We see brilliant examples here of a range of skills and trades demonstrating what Britain's builders do best, revealing a beautiful sympathetic house in keeping with tradition but recognising the importance of being in the 21st century. It's just an exemplary project. I think that they have married the requirements of 21st century perfectly with being sympathetic to the actual age of this grade two medieval hall. This project won Master Builder of the Year really because of the quality of the build and the sympathetic nature of the development combined with the amazing craft skills to deliver it and the stunning outcome at the end. So it's the combination of all those things that just gave it a little edge and put it forward as the Master Builder of the Year. Uh, what a worthy winner, but as I said, I wouldn't want to have to make those decisions myself because there were so many good projects that we've seen this time around. Uh, before we close the awards, I just wanted to say a big thank you to everyone who donated to the Lighthouse Club and for your generosity. Uh, if you hadn't had a chance to donate, the Just Giving page will stay active after the event, so please do make a donation if you can spare any money because there, but for the grace of God, go all of us at some stage. All that remains for me uh, is to thank the many sponsors who made today possible, including Isuzu, Build Aviator and Juice and Trade Point, Open Reach, Promote UK, b and CE, provider of the People's Pension, FMB Insurance, Derek Goff Associates, The Lighthouse Club, Trustmark, Risa, and green and pleasant events. Thanks also to Chris Turner for wowing us with his freestyle rap skills. I really enjoyed that. I'd also like to thank Laura Marshall for all her work and on, on my script, so I sound like I know what I'm talking about, and the technical team here for bringing this event to you in a new way, um, until we can all get together again. It has been quite extraordinary. We genuinely came on to do this, not knowing whether we get to the end of it. It's been a really fun event in its own way. I've lost about uh, half a stone, which to be honest, I could bear to after lockdown. So um, it's you know, not, lockdown's not been good for me. But um, it's been a great, great fun and, and uh, genuinely amazing for me to see all you guys and girls out there doing what you do. Finally, a special thanks goes to all the master builder companies who participated in the awards this year by submitting a nomination and attending virtual ceremonies to celebrate your success or the achievements of fellow Master Builders. We hope to see your nominations for the next Master Builders Award. If you've enjoyed this, I've been Nick Knowles. If not, I've been Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen. Cheers. <laughs>